Another important one is this. This year, elections is approaching and the issue of voting and the ramifications one may face if they voted in elections before applying for citizenship. Can you talk to us about that? Very important topic, especially as you say, elections are coming up, the, the national elections. If you vote and you are not a U.S. citizen, that is almost 100% certain that you're never going to get citizenship. That's just <laughs> that out there. And how are they able to vote if they're not citizens? I thought you need to provide yes, I, proof. I'm going to get into that. The only way you might be able to um, have that decision reversed is if you can show that there was such an egregious error on the part mm -hmm. of USCIS or on your part that you totally did not understand. But essentially, the steps are you come to the US in whatever status, you become a green card holder. Once you become a green card holder, a lot of things start to happen. For example, you can go or you know, refugee asylum seeker, whatever it is, you can go to the DMV and you can get a state ID, you can get a driver's license. And in some instances, those actions trigger something else. And that something else that's triggered is the registration to vote process. So you'll see in your mailbox, yeah. this is the registration to vote complete A, B, and C, and return it. No, I didn't ask them to send it to me. And I'm not thinking, because we have not, you know, they have not listened to yeah. you. So they're not thinking, oh, when they said this, should vote, should I, what should I do? So persons have been known to fill this form out. And yeah. so registered to vote. Mm -hmm. Another thing that happens, and it happens even, I'm seeing it a lot now because elections are so close. Persons are being asked in the plazas, in the yeah. shop, doctor's office, are you mm -hmm. registered to vote? And I'll say, no, I'm not registered to vote. So they will register you either on paper or using their computers. And so yeah. you're in the system. But these persons, <laughs> are, so they're a citizen. They're not because that's not their job. job their <laughs> is to register you, yeah. Register. So if you have registered to vote and you have never voted, you can mm -hmm. go, excuse me, you can have that registration revoked fairly easily. So mm -hmm. the difference comes now with if you are registered to vote and then you actually vote, you are going to have to now throw yourself on the mercies of <laughs> your because you, by the very act of voting, you're saying, I'm a citizen yeah it's reserved it's a privilege it's a right that's accorded only to citizens so we have to be extremely cautious um whether you're from the caribbean or some other country when you come here if you're not a citizen do not register do not even even if even if they register but do not vote it's still a problem okay so <laughs> Ends is when you get documents, you must read them extremely carefully. Mm -hmm. And automatic triggers that I see a lot with the DMV and um, a lot of other, a, a lot of persons tend to fall into the trap there. You register to vote because you got something in the mail from the DMV saying um, you are eligible to register and you go ahead and do so. Uh, it usually happens when people are, try, you know, people apply for their various identifications. So, yeah. bottom line, do not register if you. Need to have something that written on there that if you're not a U.S. citizen, don't register. <laughs> you know, um, I, I actually plan to check to see what it does have, but the critical point is, you're not a citizen. No follow. <laughs> voting people see you in the streets and they say are you registered to vote run to the other side of the road right okay, on this side. All right. okay. I, 
I hope um, our viewers are listening. <laughs> and yeah. States where persons have been now allowed to vote in local elections, don't do that either. Jeez. Don't do that. No. Election day, lock up tight in your house. <laughs> Be tempted. Yes. If that error on your part can stimming you for a long time. You might have to end up fighting with USCIS for a very long time over something, oh. you know. Innocent as that, yeah. Innocent as that. Okay, 